So after my last video, I got a fair bit of pushback and I was talking about AI, Photoshop AI, the new updated version, and also AI in general and how it's tipped me over the edge to desert digital photography. Got a bit of pushback and it's understandable really because I didn't explain myself very well, I suppose. The general feedback I was getting was along the lines of, well, you Photoshop your images. Why have you got a problem with AI? Am I missing something? Uh, yes, but the only reason you're missing something is because I didn't explain myself very well. Now, I don't have a problem with how anyone achieves their final image. We have something in our minds that we want to achieve, to realize a vision. How we get there, you can use Photoshop from here to breakfast. I really don't mind if it helps you achieve your vision. Now, I know a lot of purists will say, no, it's not a photograph anymore. I don't care whether it's a photograph anymore. If I want to do photography, I use black and white film. My discomfort with the AI is that because everyone knows about it and the general public now, it doesn't matter what I do with an image, you know, if it's a digital image, they're going to say, well, it's AI'd, you know, because that's what people do. Everyone does it, so it must be AI'd. And that takes something away from it for me because some images I work very hard to get. I mean, this, this picture I'm just about to flash on the screen here is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. I took this what, two, three years ago, beginning of winter, misty cold morning, down in the mayor's field. I saw two mayors grooming each other, bit of mutual grooming going on, lovely picture. Shot the picture, had the 250 mil, I needed 500. So I had to crop in. Of all the shots I took that day, it was the one that stood out to me. And I was quite lucky because the ranch owners saw it and bought it, and bought a three foot by two foot print of it. But this illustrates my point. Now, if I took that shot today, then everyone would think it was AI'd. And all it is is a crop of a shot that I worked quite hard to get. It took a long time for the right moment and the right conditions. But everyone nowadays would just say that's AI'd. And that begins my problem with AI. But anyway, yeah, I sold my digital camera, I sold my 5Ds. The only digital camera I've got left, apart from the G85 that I'm filming on, is this old Canon 7D. And the only reason I've got it is because I couldn't sell it. Because over the years I've modified it, it's roached, butchered, whatever. It's, it's built now to suit my purpose as, you know, equine photography. So it's basically unsaleable. It's no good to anybody else, apart from me. So as it's unsaleable, I still have it. Well, thank goodness I do. Briefly tell you what's happened as far as the equine photography thing goes. Now, those who followed this channel for any amount of time will know that my photography business died a death during the pandemic year of 2020. The lockdowns emptied my diary. So I thought, yeah, uh, maybe it's time to change anyway, move on. A couple of months prior to me making the last video, I did an equine photo shoot for a friend of a friend. Cut long story short, it went well, it was nice. Job done, good, forget about it, that was it. <laughs> About mm, a week, 10 days after the video came out, I got a phone call saying, you need to get back to the ranch. Double quick, there's a bunch of people want photo shoots. 150's worth of lenses, plus a camera that's not worth a bean. Yeah, fine, I'll do pro shoots. So yeah, that's where I am, back at the ranch. I've just done three shoots this week. I've got another one tomorrow, Sunday. I've got another one Monday. Um, another one after that at some point during the week. And I've got a beach shoot booked in for when I get home. So yeah, the 7D is back at work, as is yours truly. You know that old saying, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. Well, I'm walking proof of that. The dude is laughing his socks off right now. So yeah, and that's how things stand at the moment. Quite bizarre, kind of ironic, and um, I just go with the flow. I'm back in the saddle, literally and figuratively. So I know some of the frequently asked questions will be, how do you enjoy shooting again? Strange, I'm actually enjoying it. Another question would probably be, have I changed my mind about digital photography? No, I haven't, not as from a creative point of view. I mean, I will definitely be shooting more film. I get more out of it um, spiritually than digital. But it doesn't make digital bad, digital is so convenient. And it's enabling me to earn a few bucks right now. And let's face it, it's kept food on the table for years, up until the COVID pandemic. I'm glad I had the experience and the contacts to still be able to do it, you know. I'm very grateful for that. Photography is a great skill to have, with or without AI. But for sure, I will be shooting an awful lot more film. I just love shooting film. I love the honesty of it. When I say that, that sounds ridiculous, actually, because when you think of what you can do in a dark room with black and white film, color film, anything, but particularly black and white. I mean, you remember those old Victoriana photographs of the spirit leaving the body, you know, all those double exposures. I mean, they're all done 
in the dark room. It's, it's wonderful what you can do. A photograph has always lied. It's never told the truth. Apart from maybe documentary photography, news photography, reportage, stuff like that, that has to be accurate. But it's getting to the stage now where thanks to programs like Photoshop and subsequently the AI capabilities that we now have, the people don't even trust a news photograph anymore, which is sad, that's unfortunate. I regret the loss of that authenticity. Because although you could produce anything in the dark room, it was a lot harder to do. And the thing with the reportage is that it had to be shot and on the desk as soon as the Pony Express could get that film to the newspaper. So there wasn't time to mess around with it, you know. So you could rely on the authenticity of reportage photography, but nowadays you can't rely on anything. Things are changing, you just got to deal with it. Oh. Have you seen the camera look? <laughs> Is it on? Yeah. <laughs> the dog just chased the camera. I tell you, that girl's not right. She's not all there, is she? Labrador's are supposed to be quite bright. 